Alright, so Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Waka, Kadash, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai Mashiach, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh, Kala, Kala, Shalom, Shalom, Halawayah, Halawayah. We're going to give double honors to the apostles and elders, Great Millstone, who teach him well. Who are seeing the construction of the tabernacle of David, a more perfect tabernacle? Shalom to the Akim while Akwaf scattered abroad. Shalom to the believers. This is Yahweh Sop. Ban Yashallah, Ban Yahweh, come to you live through the sparing power of Yahweh Shah. Uh, Shalom, 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 Shalom. To give you another quick lesson, I'm sorry. I'm trying to pull up this scripture. Uh, so yeah, this um is gonna be so like this scripture is going to be uh, a continuation of the tactics of spiritual warfare. Uh, this will be tactics of spiritual warfare, you know, defense, because defense is a very important um, aspect of waging war. You no know, defense. Defense is a uh, is a uh, important aspect. You know, uh, uh, pretty much everything. Defense in sports. You know, trying to keep the other team from scoring. Um, defense um, in life. You know, protecting. You know, just protecting yourself against different things, whether it be you know, um, pestilence. You know, um, all certain things. You know. Um, so we're going to start off with this scripture right here, Psalms 34 and, um, starting at four, I sought Yahweh and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried and Yahweh heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord, uh, the angel of Yahweh encampeth around about them. That fear him, and what and deliver them. Hey, who the, the primary angel of the Lord is Yahweh Shai, the only begotten Son, who the world even calls Jesus Christ. Those that fear him, and those that um, you know, what I'm saying exalt and praise His holy name and serve Him in spirit and truth. Yahweh Shai outside has set a hedge around us. Um, what's the scripture? Um, where two or three are gathered in my name, there are, there I will be in the midst of them. You know. For protection, for spiritual guidance, for inspiration. Strong's H twenty five eighty three. Chana, Chana. Says the decline, incline, encamp, been down, laid siege against, laid siege against to decline, encamp. Um, so specifically, what to pitch a tent, journey to encamp, abode, abode abiding camps. Dwell in camp, grow to an end, lie pitch, rest in the tent. You know, so um, what's important is Yahweh Shemi Shai has brought his true men of the Lord into ultimate protection. Ultimate, uh, he has brought us into, a, you know, that ultimate protection. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and are safe. That's, I'm going to get that scripture next. So this is um I'm gonna go to Job, but then I'm gonna get that other scripture. So this is Job one, and I'll say at eight. And Yahweh said unto Satan, "Has thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an a bright man, one that fear of God and eschew of evil?" Then uh, Satan answered Yahweh and said, "Do of Job fear uh, the Most High for not." Has not uh, has not thou made an hedge about him and about his house and about all that have and all that he have on every side that has blessed the work of his hands and substance is his increased in the land? It says, has thou not has thou has not thou made an hedge about him?
Strong's H, 7753. Such. Such. To hit, slugger. To hedge our fence up, or about to fence up, hedge up. It says, woo, it says right here, shut in for formation, protection, or restraint. So the point is, you know, Yahabah Shem Yahshah, if you serve Yahabah Shem Yahshah in truth and sincerity and uh, uh, hearkening unto his voice, you know, doing the things that he requires you to do, Yahabah Shem Yahshah has, has set up defenses for us in multiple ways, you know. Because we're coming into some some very, uh, some very 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 critical times where we're gonna need the protection of Yahweh Hashem outside. Where the protection and defense of Yahweh Hashem outside is gonna be the only thing that keeps us from one going crazy and two from being put to death. Um, what was the other scripture that I wanted? Uh, I uh, Salaki, I forgot the scripture, but. If it be the Lord's will, we'll get into it. So defense. I like that. I like that word better. Defense definition. Defense. Defense. It says the action of defending from or resisting attack. The action of defending from or resisting attack. And that's important because there's multiple ways that Yahweh Shemel Shah has given us uh, certain avenues and certain uh, tools to use to protect us against what? The attacks of Satan. So this is um, Ephesians 6 and 10. It says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. It says body armor, also known as body armor, personal armor, armor, or a suit of coat armor is what? Protective clothing to, to design, to absorb, or deflect physical t attacks. Historically used to protect military personnel. Today is used also in various types of police, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, yeah, we see body armor being used as protective clothing. And now what the Apostle Paul is speaking about in this, this um, verse is that spiritual armor? Let's see. Um, so this is um, Bible. Um, this is uh, that verse in the NLT. Put on all of the most highest armor, so that you be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. It says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rules of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So, we, like I said, man, in the title, this is spiritual warfare. So we have to put on that spiritual armor being what? The, um, is going to go on to it. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Like I said, we're coming into some very serious times, you know, where you're going to need, like it says, the protection of the Most High in order to see it through, in order to get through it. Not only you, me too, man. I, I hope and pray that Yahweh Shimei Al-Shah strengthens my mind and my body and my spirit to be able to withstand in these days because we're coming close to it, man. You just seen that the um the rent memoratorium just expired. So people, a lot of people are facing ev evictions, the jab, food shortages, famine, uh, 
uh, um, tensions being built up across the world. Hey, we're living in the Matthew 24 times. This is biblical prophecy. So people, people who are in a know, we need to start prepare, not only preparing our mind, but preparing our body and our spirit to be able to go through these certain things. That's why we need the defense and the protection of the Most High. It says, stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth. And having on what? The breastplate of righteousness. What is the breastplate? The breastplate goes across your chest to in order to um, you know, to stop, you know, from getting um thrust through with a sword or catching a, a, a arrow to the chest. Cause the 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 chest, the whole midsection area, the the whole um your whole midsection is very vulnerable, you know, because those are a lot of those parts in there is are, are straight. You know what I'm saying? Straight kill. You know, if you, you stab somebody in the chest, he's likely to bleed out, die. You're, you're likely to puncture a very important artery or a very important uh, organ. You know, it's different from getting stabbed in your shoulder than it is from getting stabbed in your stomach or getting stabbed in your chest. It's different catching a bullet to your hand than it is a, catching a bullet to, to your, you know, your midsection. That's why in old times, a lot of, a lot of, um, Armor, a lot of, you know, they a lot of protection was used. You know, you'd have the, the armor plates and you have a coat mail. Then a certain person might have like a leather leather shirt on underneath all that. Because why? They understood that that whole region of your body was very, um, was very vulnerable. And, and if you were to take a wound in that area, you know, it, it was life threatening. And it's the same thing now because although... The midsection for us is not necessarily vulnerable, but even still more so. That's we are the temple of the Most High, you know, and our the temple, our temple is vulnerable to to many things because of what this the wiles of the devil with his food, his philosophies, his um, you know, just just with certain things, you know, we're very vulnerable to spiritual attack and physical attack. That's why we need to put on the armor of the Most High to strengthen our defenses. And it says, your feet show with the preparation of the gospel of peace. It says, above all, what? Taking the shield of faith. The shield of faith. That shield back in the ancient times was very important to, to you know, stopping you from getting hit by a sword. Stopping you getting from getting from getting hit by um an arrow. Stopping you from getting trampled by a horse or something like that. So let me let me get this um right here since we mentioned the shield. So right here is the shield wall, which is um I'm just gonna go into it. The formation of a shield wall uh is a military tactic that was common in many cultures in the pre early modern warfare age. There were slight variations of this tactic among these cultures, but in general a shield wall was a wall of shields formed by soldiers standing in formation, shoulder to soldier, shoulder to shoulder, holding their shields so that they uh, abut or overlap. And here's the point. Each soldier benefits from the protection of his neighbor's shields as well as his own. And that's important right there because this shield wall tactic was one of the um, best and most formidable, not only tactics of defense, but a, you know what they say, a good defense is a good offense, you know. Not th that shield wall you know what I'm saying? It would turn 10 men into 1,000 men because the defense was so impenetrable. You know what I'm saying? They were able to turn their defense into offense. Now, it says, holding their shields so they might about overlap. Each soldier benefits from the protection of his neighbor's shield as well as his own. Hey, and that's another thing. The brotherhood that we're in, the brotherhood that we're in is a defense. From what? Spiritual attack. When you start going to something, you got your brothers to help you. Your brother might lift you up, you know, give you some of his strength, pour into you, inspire you, all these other things. Brother might pray for you. Brother might do certain things. You know what I'm saying? It's the same, it's the same thing, man. This ministry, that's why this ultimately this ministry is likened unto um uh it's like your building. We how about Shimi Al Shah being the chief cornerstone. We all make up a brick, or we all, you know, all the elect members. We all make in the rem one third remnant. We all make up a, a a portion of that church. That's why I said um, 
others have entered into your labors in the scriptures. Others have entered into your labors because we all, we all standing on that foundation of Yahweh Bashem al all take up a, a part in building up the spiritual temple. And if you, like, like it is in Jenga, man, you take one piece out, it weakens the foundation. And then ultimately, you might take one piece out and the whole thing falls apart. But through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem al that's not possible to, to, to tear down the spiritual temple. Because it's defended about with righteousness. It's defended. It's, there's a hedge called the um, the will of the Most High that protects us. Because the will of the Most High is for the 144,000 to be uh, delivered with the one-third remnant. So we have, a, like it says, we have a more sure word of prophecy. Which is, hey, all, it all goes into defense, man. We have the we have the word of prophecy to defend us, to defend our mind, defend our spirits. We have Yahweh Shem Shai. We have the angels. We have... Um, and we have each other's, you know. So our de our defenses are very strong. Let's uh, which brings me to the uh this other article. It says defensive campaigns are they still the stronger form of war? It says on a theoretical level, defensive campaigns are the stronger form of war. Like it says, I send ye, uh, um, I send ye out as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents, but what? Harmless as a dove, because we have Yahweh Hashem outside to fight for us and defend us. You know what I'm saying? Like it says, defensive campaigns are the, are are they still the stronger form of war? On the theoretical level, defensive campaigns are the stronger form of war. As Clash, as Clash says, all things being equal, defense is the stronger form. However, on the practical side, defensive campaigns only remain a stronger form of war if if they're conducted properly. According to theory and doctrine. Doctrine. It says a belief or set of beliefs held and taught by a church, political party, or group. Now stay with me now because it says defensive campaigns can only remain a stronger form of war if they are conducted properly according to theory and doctrine. Now, and that gives us such an advantage over every other philosophy, ideology, uh, or religious practice on the earth because we have the true knowledge, wisdom, and understanding according to the Most High. And we believe that. We believe that in this, uh, like I said, the Most High's words are tried and true. We stick into the script. We're sticking to the will and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahshua. We're sticking to the more sure word of prophecy. Therefore, our defense is at 100%. According to this article, it says... There, if conducted properly according to theory and doctrine, we're conducting our defensive and our, our battle armaments and everything else according to the word of the Most High, what the word of the Most High says to do. So, therefore, our defense is at 100, 110,000, 144,000%, man. There's no way we can lose the spiritual war because we have won the war more, so, more sure word of prophecy and we have Yahweh Bashim al Shai defending and fighting for us. So it says, um, Ephesians 6 and 16, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherein you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the most high, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of the most high, praying always with a prayer and supplication in spirit and watching thereon to the perseverance and supplication for the saints. And that's important. Prayer. Pray always. Pray without ceasing. And that's something that I need to do more so often than myself because prayer works. There is power in prayer. It says, um, the, the word of the Most High says, Whatsoever you shall ask in the Son, you shall receive. Pray, man. I got to pray more myself too. And I've been trying, I've been working on it. I've been trying to make sure that I'm I'm praying more because, hey, we need we need to pray to Yahweh by Shemel Shai to fill our spirits up, to fill us with this knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Because why? Isaiah 33 and 6. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. And the only way you get that wisdom and knowledge is through the spirit and power of your high by shot. So now our defenses, our, our defenses are at a, a, a very a very high point, man. If this was 2K, man, our defensive rate would be at like 144,000, man. Because it's through the spirit and power of about Shem Al Shai. If you stick to the spirit and power of about Shem Al Shai, nothing can go wrong. We have a hedge about us. 
the angels, the angel of the Lord encampeth about us. The Most High has set up so many things that, hey, we're good. We're good. Hmm. So, Salakia, uh, Lord willing, I hope this lesson was edifying. I may just do a part two because the, the defense aspect of spiritual warfare is very deep. It, it goes it goes a long way. And through this series, you know, I just want to edify us as much as the spirit allows me to. So I'm going to go ahead and close it out. Probably plan a, a part two and through the spirit of empower. If it's Abba Rabbitza, I'll deliver it to the, um, whoever, you know, hears. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For the Most High shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. With that being said, call out Yahweh by Shem Shai, by Shem Wachah, Once again, give a double honor to the Apostle Noah, this great millstone, teaching with will, overseeing the construction of the tabernacle of David. Uh, I'm going to say, you know, Shalom, Halabayah.